Tim Little. I am from a pretty small country called Scotland, um, from the United Kingdom. Um, I grew up in a a pretty small village in the the northeast of Scotland, in a family of five. Um, I have an older sister, um, Judith, and a younger brother, Ewan. So I was a, the middle child growing up. <laughs> side of me has always been in me um, I've always you know wanted to be the best or wanted to win you know and everything everything I did and I can I can always remember that and still now you know I get the same feeling you know I want to win in whatever I do I lived away from my family as in my mum and dad and s siblings for six years so I'm used to that almost you know not seeing them as much um, um, so that's not almost that different because I wouldn't see them, you know, every week, even if I was in London. Um, although I'm a lot more miles away from them. My boyfriend still lives in London, so um, I miss him a lot. His family are all from that area, so uh, yeah, that as well. You know, I'm still quite young. Um, and I, th I think it's quite different in the States. You know, I had. I was able to play for my national team from the age of 16. So I've played, I think, almost 100 caps now for them, which I know is very different here. The players can't play until they're finished college. Um, or most of the time it's like that. Um, and to be able to, yeah, to play in an Olympics, a home Olympics, you know, it's, you do, you know, you think about it sometimes. especially to live here for the first time everything seems like there's 10 times more of everything so the supermarkets are bigger there's more food selection there's more you know things to do I think Seattle especially there's you know a lot of things to do too now you, how long have you been with your boyfriend um three about three and a half years that's got to be a little tough yeah mm -hmm. has he ever been here no he's coming out in two weeks actually to visit. I'm extremely excited for him to come out and just to share Seattle with him. Um, How long is he going to be here? About three weeks um, and then he's got to get back <laughs> to London. What does he do? Um, he is at university just now and he plays semi-professional football in England. <laughs>
time, you know, the feeling of your body when you're doing things is not nice, you know, pushing yourself, but knowing that you can do it and the feeling after, um, you know, just makes me want to do it again and again. And I think, you know, that's definitely from my dad, especially, but just from, you know, being in a pretty sporty family and having that kind of upbringing. What about juggling? Did you ever spend hours juggling the ball yourself? Yeah, that's not like I would go out and, you know, train fitness. I would, I would go out and take, you know, the football out as well. Um, yeah, and just keep you up in the garden or in the garage sometimes when it was, you know, too dark or too cold to, to do it outside. And yeah, I always enjoyed it, always, you know, wanted to do little tricks. Um, and I would, I can remember staying out. Um, if I couldn't do the trick, I would stay out until that evening until I could do it. And made sure I, I went back in knowing that, I'd, you know, I'd not gone in and not been able to do it. full of great players yeah. but any players that you maybe didn't know a lot about or even players that you did know about that now you're playing with them on the same pitch and you have moments and think wow that person's incredible I th yeah I think I think I had a discussion actually with Jess about this about how you maybe don't appreciate certain players until you until you play with them or until you you train with them and I can certainly, certainly say Jess is is one of them um you know, because you see them day in day out, you see the little things that they do and how how good they are. Um, so to be able to see players like Jess, like Bev, who I didn't know much about before, I knew about you know Sydney and and Pino and you know because you see them in the big games, but you know I didn't know Bev really at all before I came here. So I, would, yeah, she's you know a re a really good player and you know a complete team player. you'd have to ask him. <laughs> then I'll turn it around. What do you love about him? I think his um his self confidence probably. He um he would chat to anyone and get along with with anyone he ever met. <laughs> I think that's probably one of the biggest things. And you don't feel like you're like that? Not no. He's much more confident in that sense than me. <laughs> okay, one more thing. You're, you're very young, so you don't have to really think about <laughs> this, but some people, I, I'm talking to, you saw the Sid and Pino yeah. interview, and here I'm surprised to find out that Sid actually thinks she wants to have kids when she's 26. <laughs> Where are you on that whole subject? Because I think that's a pressure on women that's different for men. Yeah, it's a lot different to male athletes because their bodies don't change. So, um... Yeah, you know, I, I want kids, I think. Um, I'd like to have a big family, but I wouldn't say I'd put a, you know, a, an age on it. Um, an exact age. And you think that your current boyfriend, what's his name? Tom. You think Tom's the one? Yeah. He must tell his friends, you gotta see my girl play, she's... Well, he thinks he's better than me, so... <laughs> So, yeah. Really? <laughs> and I always say I'm better than him, but I 
has just said. Well, I think he's got a ways to go. <laughs> You've accomplished an awful lot. Thanks, Kim. I appreciate it. Thank you.